Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Starku here. Guys, the update 3.6 is not live. We have the disgusting update, guys. A really disgusting update. I'm not going to talk about it right now. Um, we're going to have more videos that we can actually talk about that. Uh, today, what I want to do is to actually unbox those chests to prove to you guys that they are worthless. Uh, technically, I did not buy uh, extra crystal for this update. I'm using the uh, leftover crystal I have from. <coughs> Sorry about that. I have from the Black Friday sale, and I do not plan to buy more crystal for this current update. I'm going to wait till uh, the next update where they bring actual uh, some interesting stuff. So, what we're going to do, guys? We're going to open a bunch of uh, package of ten chests. Probably going to get nothing if we get something well we we'll just say yay but uh, I kind of want to prove to you guys that it is worthless you shouldn't do it um, it is a terrible idea to actually lock characters behind RNG so don't go aid on me because I'm doing this I'm doing this because somebody has to do it on YouTube to actually show people that is fucking terrible so let's get going with opening guys first i want to show you how many crystal i got i got 4700 crystal which should be giving us let me uh, calculate really fast guys uh, we got the calculator up here 4700 by 750 and i give us uh two package basically so that is what we are going to get here guys so let's get opening the chests here and uh, we're going to open 25 chests obviously so let's get going RIP crystal guys but uh, at least I'm showing you guys what you are buying so here we're going to go one chest by one guys if we can yeah so we start with rhino Okay, that's cool. Let's move on. Number two, we go with Linkin. And that is to prove how crappy it is, guys. Who wants Rhino? Who wants Linkin but new players? No. Maximus, easy farmable characters. I do not want to have him in the chest when I'm trying to find specific characters, uh, especially the ultimate characters. Next we got Whiplash, like seriously, who wants Whiplash guys? Uh, Cynicalix? No, it hates Whiplash. <laughs> Next we have Moon Knight. Moon Knight is actually kind of decent because he is a non-farmable character. Well, you can farm him with uh, Shadowland Briometrix, but other than that he's not farmable, so it's kind of not that bad, but still. That's not what I want. I want ultimate characters, man. Next chest, we have Falcon. Okay, can I just shoot myself already, guys? Because this is like the worst day of my life right now. But next, we have... Oh, shit. We actually got Nova six stars, guys. <laughs> oh my god, I got lucky. Guys, Let's just delete that part because I did not want to find a good character in there, but we got him. Well, that's good. Let's move on. <laughs> so we're seeing that if you actually get the ultimate characters, they are six stars at the start, which is a good thing. So they are like a premium characters, like the, the CTP or the premium card, which is kind of not that bad, but it's the chance to get them is really low. Then we are getting Craven, another farmable character, guys, which is really good characters, but it's not something I want to get in a chest when I'm trying to farm specific characters. Next, we got Sin. Well, Sin is actually a character that's non farmable, non farmable except from the biometric. Uh, uh, selector from uh, Shallow Land, so she's another decent character to get out of this chest. But again, I am not looking for that kind of characters. I am looking for 
ultimate characters in those chests, so it's shitty to get sent out there. Next we got Black Ball and other easily farmable characters that we do not want to see in that kind of chest. So this is the first batch we got guys. We got Nova 6 stars. It is nice. You can see the golden square around him saying that he is actual a premium character which is nice. Um, sadly I did not want him. I wanted to show you guys that uh, it was a piece of shit. I still do not recommend getting those chests, guys. Let's open the second batch, guys. We got ten of them. First chest here. here. We got Scourge. Scourge is actually nice to get there since it's a non-farmable character, non-farmable characters except from Shadow and Biometrix. Still, he ain't no fucking ultimate character. Next we got. Okay, guys, I'm not gonna say anything here. Next, we got a sin again, guys. Like, I'm gonna make an overdose of sin. She's ugly, she's useless, I don't want her. Is that clear enough, that marble? Next, we have Malekith. Five star. Not bad. We get a five star, but that's a guaranteed five star, guys. Still, farmable character. Uh, pretty boring character. Uh, only good for his leadership in the game, so we do not care much about him. Next we have uh, Miss America, well America Chad is uh, 3 stars, so apparently you don't only get them at 6 stars, you can get them at 3 stars too. I already got her to uh, tier 2 because I had a lot of Biometrix, she's the only free to play characters from the new updates, so uh, she's already tier 2, but uh, it's actually decent to be able to get her on, on the roll here. So if I actually open those chests to get ultimate characters right now, I'll be all happy, but that wasn't the plan, guys. Next we got Spider-Man. You know, Spider-Man is a good character, but so easily farmable that you do not want this in ultimate chests, guys. Next we got, let's not say it, <laughs> now Ant-Man is not a farmable character but still can use Biometrix from Shallow Land, you can farm, well it's farmable through Dimension Earth but you know what I mean. The next chest we got uh, Crystal, another good character but is so easy farmable from a special mission that it's useless to actually have her in a chest. Next we got Jessica Jones. Uh, characters you can only get with uh, Shallow and Biometrix, which uh, doesn't really matter because she is a terrible character. Next we got Sister Green. That's actually a good a uh, good pull out chest because she is a non formal character. You can only get her up with her own Biometrix, uh, rank up ticket, or blast Biometrix. So she's a good pull, and then she's not ultimate character. Uh, I will still be happy if I actually didn't have her, and I was pulling her out up in a chest. So the second chest, guys, we got a three star. Uh, Miss America or America Chavez, whatever they call her, which is uh, not very good because you know, if you pull a three star and you're trying to rank her up with all the biometrics you need, you need like three to six hundred biometrics to rank up the gear, and then she's six stars, it's you know, a lot of chests to open to get the appropriate amount of biometrics. So, guys, we got let's see, 1200 crystal left, so we got enough to buy. A five chest uh, package so let's get uh, going with it first chest we got silk not for non farmable characters so it's not that bad but still uh, you still can get her up with shadow and biometrics so you do not want her in there the second chest from this package we got Sif so easily farmable that you just want to smash your head on the ground when you get her in a chest like that. 
The third chest we got Titania, five star, which is pretty good, but uh, she's not favorable but from Biometric, a selector from Shadowland. But she's not as useful as she used to be when she first came out, so that's, she's not a very interesting character. She's a good character, but not so interesting to get from a box like that. Next chest we got. Okay guys, my mouth is open. I'm like, what the fuck did I just get? Like seriously, who the fuck will want Modak in a fucking chest? Like that marble, seriously, get your shit together and give us something good. Like seriously. And the last chest. Well, six stars characters, okay. But it's Mockingbird. Mockingbird. She's like one of the most useless characters in this fucking game. It is terrible. We got some good pull on that five packages, but still, it's terrible. See? I opened 25 chests, guys. I spent 40, uh, around 45,000 crystal, maybe uh, 42, 43, uh, 4.3. I mean, not 43, uh, 4300 crystal, and I only got Nova six stars. So basically, uh, how much will it cost me to get that amount of crystal when the package are discounted? It cost me. Let's go see. Let's go see here. Crystal. Um, is that this package? Yeah. It cost me about $35 if we do the, you know, equivalent in crystal. $35 to get a six star character. That is so fucking overpriced. That is ridiculous. Netmarble already need to do a fix. And if you actually. Uh, buy the package when they are not discounted. It's thirty-five dollars, about thirty-four, thirty-five, forty dollars to get to open ten chests. That's it. That's it. Ten chests, forty dollars. Let's uh, let's set it at forty dollars, guys, which is ridiculous. You can get more, way more biometrics than that by buying a package that is nine dollars a month, guys. The biometric selector package. So I find this really ridiculous. I hope you guys don't buy it. I think it's a good way to uh, you can still enjoy the game without buying it, and it's a good way to show that marble that go screw yourself. Don't buy this shit. Don't do dark like Starco because Starco knew that he was going to get screwed for the amount of crystal he put in. He just did it to show other people what those chests was about so guys i hope you enjoyed this video uh, hope you don't hate on me that you actually ate on that marble for the shit they're being pulling like i said i'm not uh spending money on this up update i just spent the remaining crystal hat from uh, my birthday present in uh, my early birthday present from my wife uh, during the black friday and that's pretty much all I did with it. Uh, if I did not have the crystal, I will not have bought any crystal to get anything from that chest because this is ridiculous shit and it's not worth it at all. So guys, don't forget to like this video, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to boycott those loot boxes, guys. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video, guys.